Zach Ewing with Coach Rod Barnes after CSUB's 63-55 loss here in Las Cruces. Uh, Coach, your, your thoughts on this one again, uh, kind of deja vu from the first meeting. You guys went cold late and it cost you the game. Well, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, and some of it because uh, we didn't score well, but some of it's because they're good. I mean, at times when we had droughts, uh, we had guys get good shots and we didn't make them, but also we got to the basket a few times and they blocked our shots. Uh, I didn't think we were very good offensively tonight. I thought it was probably one of our better defensive efforts uh, that we've had this year, but uh, we ended up, you know, not finishing the game. And we just get a chance to move on. And got 48 hours before we're up again and try to get our guys going again. Uh, the first half was so physical and choppy and kind of no rhythm to it. Uh, what was talked about at halftime? How did you guys decide to come out in the second half? Or did you like the game that way? <laughs> no, I, I didn't necessarily like it that way. I thought the game was extremely physical. Uh, and I thought, you know, like you said, it was, it was really some plays there that I thought that set the tone for the game. But, it, you know, it's been a technical guy, a foul that we felt like uh, we got to, t you know, Ali with his third foul kind of took us out of the rhythm there. But, you know, that's just what you got to do. You got to go and play. You know, things are like this going to happen. And, you know, when you go on the road with a team with this kind of success, you know, you, you're not just going to leave here with a smooth, edgy game. So uh, they're a team that likes to play a lot of half court. Uh, they're a good defensive team, real methodical in their offense. And uh, because we're a good defensive team, just felt like we didn't, you know, execute the way we needed to do down the stretch. But we also had great shots, open shots, and we just didn't make them. And, you know, when you have some of the guys that we had didn't shoot the ball as well as we didn't shoot it tonight, uh, it's kind of a tough situation. But, you know, I told our team the huge thing was that we uh, we didn't play very good at all to me. I didn't think the whole game offensively. But we ended up, you know, with three or four minutes ago, we still were right there because of our defense. And we hopefully get a chance. Uh, they're in the finals. And we're in the finals where we get a chance to play for the third match. And, um, obviously, both of them has been battles, and hopefully we can correct our second half drought uh, in the next game. You talked about on Tuesday how this is the team to beat in this conference, and especially at home, and uh, they hit some shots down in the, t you know, the one to beat the shot clock, obviously, and then the, the Bakersfield kid hits two against right. you. I mean, right. it, so, sometimes you just throw your hands up at some point, right? Well, it is. I mean, you know, it, it, I mean, I think that's what kind of started, gave them a brilliant role, and Baker hit that shot, you know, when the shot clock was running out. We had a guy running out on him. He kind of double clutched it. And, you know, we gave up some opportunities because we wanted to focus on their inside guys. And Braxton did a good job. I mean, he did what he's supposed to do. He made a couple open shots. And, you know, but again, a lot of that, if you look at it, you know, from our standpoint, you know, from our offensive standpoint, we just not weren't very good tonight. And again, some of that belongs to them. Some of it we got to correct when we play them next time. Uh, having said that, you didn't play well, and yet you had a chance to win the game at their place. You obviously had a chance to win the game at your place against them. You haven't beat them yet, but it's right there. I mean, that's got to be the message, right? Well, it is. It is. I mean, we've gotten really close. Uh, to come here and play the game the way we played, and, you know, we lead in the second half. And, you know, we got a chance there. Got a wide open three to go ahead by, like, four, I think it was, and we missed it. And, you know, we got some opportunities, and uh, we're close. You know, we, we, there's no way that three years ago we could have came here and shot 28% and, and end up even being close in the game. So we made those strides, but, you know, this team, we want to we wanna break through. So, uh, again, hopefully as we move forward, our goal is to win the WAC tournament, and we don't play them anymore this season. So unless we meet them in the tournament, and uh, hopefully we do better than we did. We're confident that we can compete with them on a regular basis. It's kind of like I said two years ago when we played a lot of close games. Uh, we got to go from competing, now we got to go to winning. And I think we've proven we can complete, compete with them. Now we've got to do like we've done this season. We've got to turn competing into winning. And hopefully we get another opportunity. Yeah, that uh, sequence in the first half, back to back text, and they get six free throws. Was that something Ali said? I now that I say this, they're walking right behind you. <laughs> what, what was the explanation on that to you? Uh, he said he, he fouled him and then he, he pushed the kid in the back. But I, I just thought, I, I mean, I don't know. I just thought in this kind of game, when you got a first place team and a second place team, uh, 
I think the people, the fans, coaches, and everyone would like to see the game play with their guys on the court. And it's unfortunate. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said that I thought Ali went for the ball. I mean, I thought he did try to foul. That was more of an intentional foul and still maybe a technical foul. But uh, he said that he thought he had fouled and then it was kind of excessive after the foul. So we'll have to look at that. But again, six free throws on the ball in a game like this is a big. It's a big turnaround, especially when you got two teams that are pretty good defensively and both teams are not scoring it at a high level. That's a lot of possessions uh, with six, you know, six point swing, and uh, you know, even if you look at the final score, you know, even with us uh, scoring for a long period of time, uh, I think we lost by eight. I think it was. I mean, six points are huge. So, again, we've got to, you know, we got to do a better job. I mean, I don't want to put it all on the officials or all on, you know, us playing great defense. Uh, we got to do a better job against their team and this particular team scoring in the second half. Coach, to wrap things up, you got three regular season games left. Uh, probably not going to win the WAC title now unless New Mexico State really drops a couple. Uh, where do you shift your focus? Playing well. You know, we got to play well because, again, we'll get to the tournament here. Uh, obviously, uh, we play again, like I said, in 48 hours. We got to play better than what we played tonight on the offensive end. I think our defense was pretty good, but on the offensive end. And uh, we've got to try to get to Vegas uh, playing at the uh, highest level. Uh, we won't pass up the game just because, you know, we don't have a chance uh, unless New Mexico State lose. We won't give in to our season and kind of just wait till we get to Vegas. We've got to continue to work to make sure that when we get there, uh, we can have the results that we would like to have. And obviously, that's winning the WAC tournament.